In this video, we will be expanding this binomial using Pascal's triangle. Because the power is 3, I'm going to be using this row of Pascal's triangle. And I'm going to be doing my three steps, set up, powers, and multiply. So as I set up, 1, 3, 3, 1 are the coefficients. So I'm just going to write that down, spaced out, 1, 3, 3, 1. They always start off positive. Next, still setting up, I start with the first term of the binomial. And I look at the power of the problem. And put, putting those together, I have x to the third power. And then I start decreasing. So I've got x squared, and then x, and then none. OK, next, I jump over to the second term. All right, the one on the right. And I've got 5y. Again, I pay attention to the power of the problem. So I take this term. It's on the right, so I start off with it on the right. So I will do 5y to the third power. And then I will decrease as I go to the left. So that will be 5y squared, and then another 5y. OK, that's it for the setup. Now I'm going to do the powers. The coefficients don't have any powers, so I'm just going to bring those down unchanged. You should do the same, just like me. All right, by bringing down these coefficients, it helps me avoid multiplying things which should not be multiplied. Now, the pink ones don't have any numbers, so that means they can't be changed either. So I'm just going to bring those down. If this had been like 2x, then I would have to do 2 to the third power. But there's no 2, so nothing will change when I do the powers. Now the green one has a number, so I have to be careful when I do the power. So when I do 5 to the third power, that is 125. So I'm going to have 125y to the third power. And now I will have 5y squared. That'll be 25y squared. And then this one doesn't have a power. So I'm just going to bring that down. So now I've done all the powers. Now it's time for the third and final step, which is to multiply. So this will just be x to the third power. But now I've got 3 times 5. So I will put 15x squared y. Now, 3 times 25 is 75. So I will have 75xy squared. And then, of course, 1 times 125 is just 125y to the third power. So this is the final answer. Now, we are specifically being asked for the coefficient of x squared y. So the coefficient of x squared y is. 15, because there's your x squared y. So that's why the answer is D.